In the shadows of Morkdor, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the One Ring to enslave all elves, dwarves, and men of Middle-earth. The free people of Middle-earth overthrew Sauron, but lost the ring. Now the enemy has returned, and from his dark tower in Morkdor, he seeks his ring. We must find the ring first, and destroy it. But who can bear to carry the ring? The weak would be corrupted. The powerful would become as great a threat as Sauron. But who can bear the ring? Welcome back, Gandalf. Will we have fireworks, elvish lessons, tales of ancient Numenor? Today, we must talk about a shadow of the past. The ring you inherited may be very dangerous. Uncle Bilbo's magic ring? Magic rings, as you call them, were made by elves. But this ring, I think, was made by another. Give me the ring. No! Look closely. I see fine lines. Lines of fire. In a flowing script. What does it say? One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. This is the one ring to rule them all. The ancient kings of elves, dwarves, and men Use the rings of power to rule their lands. The Dark Lord Sauron created this ring to rule all the others. When he fell in battle, he lost it. A strange creature called Gollum found the ring and was corrupted by it. Bilbo won it from Gollum, and now it is yours. But the Lord of the Rings has returned, and all his thought is bent on finding the ring. Let's destroy it! It can only be destroyed when it was forged. In Mount Doom, the fire mountain in Mordor. Take it there. Take it. No, do not tempt me. If I bore the ring, I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Then... then I must guard the ring. And I will help you bear this burden, as long as it is yours to bear. I'm a danger to the Shire. I must leave. No, I could set out on the road just like Bilbo. My dear Frodo. Hobbits really are amazing creatures. But you need not go alone, if there are any you can trust. But take care. The enemy has many spies. Well then, Samwise Gamgee, isn't it? Ah! Ah! Don't hurt me! What are you doing at Bag End? Nothing, sir. Trimming the grass under the window. Oh? The sound of shears stopped some time ago. How long have you been eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? Well, there ain't no eaves at Bag End. Don't be a fool. What have you heard? Oh, Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. He won't hurt you. Just answer his question. Well, I heard a lot I didn't understand about lords and rings and a fiery mountain and elves, uh... I had to listen. I'd dearly love to see elves. Keep it a secret, Sam. Or I hope Gandalf turns you into a spotted toad. I've thought of something better. He will go away with you, Frodo. Me, sir? Go and see elves and all? But where should we go? Towards danger, but not too rashly, nor too straight. And you mustn't vanish. Take time to settle your affairs before you leave. I could leave in autumn, on my birthday. Very well, but no later. Make for Rivendell in the east, and seek the counsel of Elrond Half-Elven. East? I'll tell everyone I'm buying a house in Crick Hollow near my relatives in Buckland. I'll have to sell Bag End. The Sackville Bagginses have been trying to take over this place for years. A shame to let them have it. 
indeed. And now I must go. I have much to attend to. See that Samwise Gamgee does not talk, or I will turn him into a spotted toad. You can trust Sam. Oh, yes. Not a word from Sam Gamgee. Once you leave, travel as Mr. Underhill. The name of Baggins is not safe outside the Shire. And do not use the ring, for it can corrupt the most innocent heart. I understand. Farewell, Gandalf. Elves? I'm going to see elves! Farewell, Frodo. I'll return by your birthday. Gandalf did not come back, and as the nights grew longer, I decided I might have to leave without him. On the morning of my birthday, September 22nd, I set out for one final stroll around the Shire. I had to say farewell to my neighbors and sell my home to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. After that, I would collect the ring from Bag End and set out on the road in the evening.
No one's home. Pity. The old tree house. It still stands. I played in it as a boy. Sam's home. Will he miss it as much as I shall bag end?
No one's home. Pity. No one's home. Pity. No, no one, no one's home. Pity. Hello there, Hal. Oh, hello, Frodo. You have a beautiful day to begin your trip to Crick Hollow. Yes, indeed. I'm too old for such long walks. I can't even climb high enough to fix my weather vane. What's wrong with it? The thing's stuck. Sorry to hear it. That rascal Sancho Proudfoot was throwing sticks at it. Now it won't turn at all. I'll take a look at it before I leave. Well, that'd be fine with me. The ladder's right over there.
Weather vane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. Here, have some eggs, fresh today. No one's home. Pity. No one's home. Pity. No one's home. Pity. No one's home. Pity.
It's locked. 